And then if you don't wear a mask, that doesn't bug me either, right? Take out your grandparents, you know? <laughs> Take out your weak cousin with the asthma. I don't <laughs> care. Welcome back to Dean Bros. TV. Stop till you reach the top. To the what? To the top. To the what? To the top. Hey. Hey, we finna be listening to Bill who? First. Bill who? First. Hey, man, it's finna get funny in the building. So, if you ain't yeah, laughing, cold. and you ain't trying to laugh at no jokes, get up out of here, sir. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Stand Keep up. Monologue. Yeah, stand. Yep. So, SNL, Saturday Night Live. So, we finna see. This is recently, man. Two weeks ago. So, we finna see what Bill Burr is cooking up in the kitchen today, man. For real. We love your videos, Bill Burr. We reacted to plenty of your videos on this channel, man. You is a comedy person. Yes, and if, guys, you want to see more content from us, go in that description and comment section and go follow our main channel, K and Let's get it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stop that bell for this one. Let's see what's popping. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Burr! Thank you so much. Thank you. I am so I am so excited to be here. I have been doing stand up forever. And this has always been a lifelong dream of mine to come here and host Saturday Night Live. So thank you so much for coming out. Coming out. During during these difficult times, you guys all look like surgeons with your masks on. It makes me feel comfortable that you're wearing masks. I like people who wear masks. That's good. You're listening to the eggheads, the people we all cheated off of in high school, right? <laughs> Keep listening to them. And then if you don't wear a mask, that doesn't bug me either, right? Take out your grandparents, you know? <laughs> Take out your weak cousin with the asthma. I don't care. <laughs> it's your decision. There's too many people. It's a dream come true. Bro, bro, this man don't I even mean, care, bro. Hey, cause my brother got asthma, bro. It's like it's funny because like they the first ones to go, bro. <laughs> and, and, and like and like he said, just take them out, have fun, have a blast. That is crazy, man. Give me one second. If you're that dumb and you want to kill your own family members, by all means, do it. <laughs> Stop you from reproducing. It's literally a dream come true. <laughs> and speaking of dreams come true, did you see Rick Moranis got sucker punched on the Upper West Side? <laughs> New York is back, baby! New York is back! Yes! We I like how he kind of like screams into the mic. Yeah. Like that's funny, like screaming into the mic for no reason. It is like he using extreme sarcasm, guys. But <laughs> like, but it's hard to tell from sarcasm because it's so funny, bro. Yeah. Like it's so funny that you don't even take it like serious. But it's funny with the stuff you <laughs> say, bro. It's hard to explain. Yeah. <laughs> Lost our edge there for a minute. City started looking like a giant bed, bath, and beyond, and then bam. <laughs> Oh, Ricky took one in the chops. <laughs> it had to happen. It had to. That's what happens when you stick an M&M store in Times Square. All right? <laughs> the universe has to balance itself. <laughs> Get the peep shows back in Times Square. Old people can walk safely 40 blocks away. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably get canceled for doing that joke, you know? How stupid is that cancel thing? They're literally running out of people to cancel. <laughs> They're going after dead people now. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, God did that 40 years ago. <laughs> They're all up in arms. They're like, did you hear what he said in that interview in Playboy in 1970? Can you believe that? It's like, yeah. He was born in 1907. That's what these people sounded like. You never talked to your grandparents and brought up the wrong subject, and all of a sudden it went off the rails. Like, oh, oh, grandma, just keep making the cookies. Yeah, you don't bring up race or religion with your grandparents. You keep it simple. Anyway, I don't know. I know, I guess my grandparents are older. I don't know. Plowing ahead. 
<laughs> Plowing ahead. Let's let's talk. Uh, let's talk white women here, shall we? <laughs> let's talk white women. White women. You're amazing. Amazing. Your accomplishments over the last few years. I got to tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement. Generals around the world should be analyzing this. <laughs> Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. <laughs> and then somehow, white women swung their Gucci-booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My leg is so hard eh, with my SUV in my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Trashing white guys, the nerve. Where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. <laughs> Let me, I, listen, I don't want to speak ill of my bitches here, okay? <laughs> I don't. Well, let's, let's go back in history here, okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy, and occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to. <laughs> Man, Bill, Bill Burr, 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 Bill things with different type of people yeah and it's so, gonna eventually get to it's very very slim of white and very slim of like just like just a direct color yeah so but i'm just glad bill burr realizes so maybe some other people can realize too yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, wow about a year you know i was uh, i was here last year i was shooting a movie had a great time with judd apatow pete davidson and all the guys yeah, had a great time. And I hadn't been here in like 13 years, and I immediately noticed how extra crowded the city was. And I was getting all claustrophobic. I'm like, what's going on? How much of people not using safe sex and making all these babies, you know? <laughs> so I finally walked up to this old New York door guy, and I was just like, dude, what's going on? What's with all these people here? And he was just like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. He goes, it's, it's June. He goes, it's Pride Month. And I'm like, what's that? You know, I'm 52. I never heard of it, right? <laughs> they didn't have that when I was a kid. He goes, oh, it's Gay Pride Month. And I was just like, oh! <laughs> Dude, you know when you're just like stuck in the Matrix and you just can't, everything's just pressed up, you can't see anything? And then somebody gives you that little nugget of information that just pulls it back? It's like, why is it so crowded? It's Gay Pride Month. Ah, tank tops. Zero <laughs> percent body fat. Two guys kissing. Rainbow flags! Ah! <laughs> I didn't know that. That's what I learned. The month of June is Gay Pride Month. That's a little long, don't you think? <laughs> For a group of people that were never enslaved. <laughs> how, did, how did they get all a June? <laughs> Dude, black people were actually enslaved. They get February. They get 28 days of overcast weather, sun goes down at four in the afternoon, everybody's shivering, nobody wants to go on the parade. Look, yeah, how about you hook them up with July? These are equator people. Give them the sun for 31 days. This gay black people, they could celebrate from June 1st June 31st, 30, 61 days of celebrating. All right, that's all my time. We got a great show for you guys, everybody. Jack White is here. It's gonna be amazing. Please. Yes, over. Hey, real bird, man. Standing up for the black community, man. We yes. love you, bro. We love you for that, man. It means a lot, man. Because and also, 
You know what I'm saying? Because I can't. And he probably will get canceled because of that. I, I'm pretty sure he will get canceled. Yeah. You know <laughs> people, people, people might, you know what I'm saying? Because people, you know, people might come to conclusion now. You know what I mean? They might cancel them, but at the same time, it is Saturday Night Live. You know they be doing all types of stuff with. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like far as Donald Trump and all that <laughs> other stuff and picking on everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, but, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate Bill Burr, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to comment down more below. That was funny, okay. bro. I like how you came in the introduction with the face mask and stuff, bro. <laughs> that was funny, bro. I can relate. Yeah. I can relate. So y'all like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Y'all like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Don't forget to link in the description can link. And we'll be back.